How did you feel about that experience, huh? I've already experienced it. How did you feel about the experience? It felt the same as Australia. But I did it, so yay. It will? And London's doing the thing where it cries from the sky and it's all great and it was really happy before and now it's all sad <laughs> it's rainy we're about to go into like Hyde Park and shit and walk it was gonna be beautiful but now what do you want to do I don't know cry but look at this bus that makes me happy instantly hi everybody welcome to today's YouTube video today we are going through Hyde Park in London now I'm gonna count how many squirrels I see and show you Bali, anyway. I'm with the famous Brie Bell here. And we're just chilling. We're gonna go to Buckingham Palace and stuff too. So I'll just, we'll just show you the way, the journey. I'm excited. Get excited. Get some popcorn. It's gonna be an adventure. First squirrel I've seen in London. Hello boy. Oh my gosh, look at him. So cute. Oh, <laughs> he's talking. Find a nut. Two. Uh, hi, bro. Oh, look at you. <laughs> Three squirrels. Yay. Fourth squirrel. Fifth squirrel. There's one over there. Seventh squirrel. Today we're going to be going to the Upside Down Museum in Amsterdam and I have a little bit of weed, legal weed with me today. So it's gonna be fun. Can't wait to show ya. It feels like rust. <laughs> Everything's upside down.
Um, I'm in Munich with Mrs. Ocarina here. Hello everybody, here's the potato. It's the potato herself. We just went to a museum. Oh. Almost everything. Like Always it. dropping things, Miss, Miss Oki. We're like two peas in a pod, but very bad. I'm gonna go show you the park now. So when we get to the park, I'm gonna do this crazy transition and you're just gonna be there. So this is what I was talking about when I said we went swimming yesterday. It's so icy cold. But it's so lovely to like, get in there. To swim. I know. She lied to me that she drowned. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, I'm drowning. so strong it pulled us all the way we just kept trying to climb onto the bank and we couldn't do it oh my gosh let me show you what this looks like it's so beautiful <laughs> so this is what type of forest would you call it's this called the english garden they have an ice river yeah there was a japanese tea house and there's a japanese tea house so germany has a lot of like cultural things here like they've got turkish stuff they've got japanese stuff you told me about birds what are they called Egypt. Look what we've got, we've got snacks for you. So Oki brings bird seeds. She brought them all the way from her home. Yeah, natural seeds. So she brought bird seeds because she knew we were going to come to the park. How cute is that? That makes my soul so happy. He's coming. This is a duck. Yeah, that's a normal duck. I like these bird seeds. in Munich. This is my last day. I'm leaving tomorrow. It's, it's 8 a.m. I'm so sorry. I have to fly at 8 a.m. So I have to be up at 6 a.m. to get there. Yeah. We're going to play a river together. It's going to be so sad. I have a story time. Basically, coming from Germany, going to Italy. I woke up this morning at 5 a.m. at the airport by the train and Uber. The train had to stop like pretty much halfway there or something for some reason. I don't know. And then I had to get in an Uber and then spend 200 Australian, 100 euro on getting to the airport. And I missed my fucking plane. <laughs> that was going to cost me 1200 Australian, 600 something euro to fly from here to Italy because it was an economy plus seat, they didn't have any other seats. So I was like, okay, that's really expensive. I already spent so much trying to get to the airport in the first place. And then she's like, you know what? It would be really nice if you wanted to like take the train because it would be to Italy, like an eight and a half hour train to Italy. I'm like, that's doable. I think it would be pretty and I would have time to paint. It would be nice. I get on the airport train to come to back to the first station I'm at. Remember, I didn't get a clean run on the train from here to the airport. I had to like take an Uber as well. So the pretty much same thing happened back here. I realized in that train that I wasn't gonna make the first train to Italy on time. I missed my flight, I missed my train. Anyway, I'm going to Italy and I'm gonna go get a massage when I get there. I'm going to a spa called Soul Space today. I'm so sore. I've been carrying around like 40 kilograms of luggage all by myself. So yeah, just like looking after myself and stuff. I'm just about to go do a spa. <laughs> so bored right now. It's so hot in Italy. Hotter than Australia. Oh my god. Look at that. Wow. Style building. So pretty. Higher bikes. Oh, I hate getting sick when I'm traveling. It's not the best.
try to find something nice to eat. Look at some pasta again. I really like the view. Michelangelo. This is so romantic. I'm by myself, but I feel like I'm taking myself on a date. It feels so cute. <laughs> scooted all the way to this um, cafe slash I didn't even know there was food here but I just like got a buffet of like really nice Italian food and then I'm gonna go use the swimming pool in this hotel and I'm like this is lovely <laughs> I'm so damn hot. <laughs> All right, time for a swimmy swim swim. I just went halfway across Italy trying to find my freaking artwork that I left at the pool today. I can't believe I saved it. Um, <laughs> it was a mission. It felt like a freaking adventure like an actual Indiana Jones adventure. Um, but I'll show you where I'm going right now. really long but I slept 13 hours of it. It was a really fun trip. Oh my gosh, the people I met, so crazy. I've been washing my clothes in the sink and the shower for three weeks and it's so nice to be home and of course Rosie's here too. Do you want to say hi? I hope you really enjoyed this video. Uh, I plan to do a lot more in the future and get better at this sort of thing like travel vlogs and stuff like that. I tried to document as much as I could. Make sure you like this video and comment below what your, what your dream destination is. I would love to chat with you in the comments. Say goodbye.